All right, so in the top left position as the Red Terran, it's going to be IFU SPX, and indeed he is Chon Man. Uh, and at the bottom right, as the Brown Zerg, it will be LRM Bakryu. I just realized he's not he's not Chon Man, as in you know like a like a dude. He's he's Man, as in I don't know, like he's French. He's, he's the French style man. Alrighty. By the way, your fancy donation really doesn't work well with different currencies. Damn, it's unfortunate. I, I, it's, it's a little bit too fancy. This, this newfangled technology, man, I can't, I can't wrap my head around it. What does it actually say right now? Let me see. Hmm. Oh, is 10 euros greater than that? <laughs> oh man, overlay can't math. It's too complicated. I, that's, that's actually interesting. I wonder, I wonder how it calculates the top thing. Does it just count it like based on the number? Like, if you were to de donate like 500 yen, which is what, like five dollars, would that be the top donation because it's just a really big number? Or I don't know what 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 currency is worth the least right now? Could you just donate like a billion of some worthless currency and just forever be top? That that'd be pretty funny actually. Because, because if that's not the case, then I wonder how it calculates exchange rate, like where it gets that information from. Like, does it just use some kind of standard exchange rate database? I don't know, I don't know how that stuff usually works. Anyway, Art of Turtle asks, um, oh, change of score? Yes, thank you, funny. Art of Turtle asks if I'm excited that Citron Sauce is coming back. I have no idea what you're talking about, but sure. Sounds good. I mean, if something is coming back, then that means that people liked it, right? And it was good, so so that's probably a good thing. Streamlabs doesn't support all currencies. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I actually have, I'm actually using two different streaming things. Hold on, is anything happening in this game? This is a 12 hatch, right? So 12 hatch against one racks expand, right? We're not, we're not missing anything important. Okay, 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 okay. Back, back to the chat. Um. I'm actually, so for, for the little pop-up cat thingy, I'm using uh, Streamlabs, but for for the actual overlay bar on the top, I'm using uh, Strexum or something like that, because because like I my, my original Streamlabs thing was just text, and I wanted to look fancier, and the only place that I could look fancy and get like a thing like this was from Strexum. So like, all right, well, I guess I'll just combo and do both. The Mulan movie promotional sauce McDonald's had when the movie came out. Hmm. See now, now I'm now I'm not so sure anymore, man. When you said McDonald's, I was like, ah, all right. I mean, I guess if that's what the people want. All right. So let's see. SCB is gonna see everything. It is a three hatch build from Baku. Baku is a pretty standard player. He's kind of like C. You know, it's pretty chill. Well, I guess actually C's not chill anymore. But you know, back in the day when we thought C was chill, then Bakri would be C. But but he's not anymore. Which is sad. It's very sad. I really liked C. My my dreams and hopes have been shattered. Text is too small. Says Boxhand. Yeah. I'll I'll see if I can I'll I'll spend some time and see if I can make my own like little nice overlay. And I can just use Streamlabs. That'd be cool. Oh, what's going on over here? One SCB supporting the charge of five Marines. They're cross map, so this isn't really going to do anything. It's going to force a Sunken, maybe. I don't think you really need a Sunken, even, against uh, just five five vanilla Marines. The SCB also went back. It's like, yeah, screw you guys. I'm out. Peace. Alright, so he's going to build a few things. He's not going to make a Sunken. There's no need for a Sunken against this. What do we got here? Plus one. Seems good. And the Marines go back. Also seems good, so so that's that's the correct decision, especially since you're cross map. Like if you were close positions and the Zerg was trying to be goofy and only make drones, then maybe that could work. Um, but you can see he he made he caused the Bakri to make like six extra lings or something like that. I think he only had like four to begin with, right? Or maybe six. See, he uh, he had to make four to six additional lings, which is not really what you want. But he's gonna go for the spire, I think. I don't see any den yet. No crazy Hydra opening like Oxer did last game. Bum, 
Alright. Academy on the way. Man, ever since uh, Kix told me about the Flash tutorial video for how to go one Rex expand into uh, Fast Plus One, I've, I've wanted to actually watch that, but like, I don't actually play Terran. I don't play TVZ, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just watch it for fun. Oh man. I was busy watching ASL earlier today though. Man, that was that. those were some interesting games. I, I'm not going to spoil it yet, just in case people haven't watched it, but uh, there were some lulls to be had in, uh, in at least one of the games. Okay, looks like uh, Ling's just gonna gonna chill here. I mean, we just gotta wait for the mutas to come out, right? Maybe the Marines can pressure a little bit more, but it looks like he's just gonna just gonna chill. Man, I really love the little little detailed like wireframes on this. It just looks really cool. I guess now that I think about it, there's wireframes on all the unit cards anyway. So, like, if I click a Marine, it's the same. Is that the same frame? It is, right? It's just smaller. Yeah. So it's so it's already on the Marines, and I'm just I'm just freaking out for some reason because it's smaller. All right, so we got some sunkens because the Lings see the Marines moving out. But again, it is cross map, so it'll take them a while to get there. Looks like Baku gonna go ahead and take the bottom left hatchery. As I said, very very standard play. We've got nine mutas popping. It's like eight. This guy's a little bit late to the party. It's okay. Forgive him. There's always there's always that one guy, you know, that one guy that just can't show up on time. Freaking guy. All right. Anyway, muted link attack coming in. Well, I mean it's probably just going to be a muted attack. The links will just chill for a second. If you can pull all the marines into the main base, then the links can go into the natural, uh, which would be should be pretty nice for him. It's like there's a couple of turrets. They're not like right next to each other, which is what you usually see, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference. All right, Marines coming in. They're they're a little, kind of AFK though. Oh whoa! I think that was a a reinforcement muta or something. I just came right from the bottom there, and oh man, taking a lot of damage. Two more mutas. I've fallen, and the rest have taken a really severe beating. There. That's not what Bakryu wants. A little bit, a little bit too stuck in. Plus one did finish for the Marines, so really shredding through those mutas. It's it's really uh. It's really crazy how much of a difference the plus one attack actually makes, but it does make a huge difference. Because I mean, Stim Marines shoot like a million times a second. It's pretty cool actually, now that I think about it, like a Stim Marine is basically shooting his machine gun on full automatic, you know, it's like Rambo style. It's pretty cool. Except somehow he actually hits every single shot. Oh my god, guys, guys, I figured out a balance patch for Brudor. Whenever, whenever Marines Stim, they should have like a 20% miss chance. So they shoot twice as fast, but 20% of the shots actually miss. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be so much better? Come on, Zergs, back me up here. That'd be so much better, right? I think, I think Blizzard needs to do that. Because it, otherwise, otherwise how, how are you gonna shoot the gun on full automatic and hit every single bullet, you know? That doesn't even make sense. See, yeah, thank you, Benza, exactly. All right, so uh, we got an additional sunken in the front. I don't know why he didn't just put it in a line, but I mean it's fine. I, I trust Bakri. Bakri knows what he's doing, so I won't question the great and mighty Bakri. I don't know why I hesitated saying his name there. I was just so intimidated by his genius that I, I did not even dare to speak his name. Um, oh. It's like he's actually preparing these uh, these things on the set. <laughs> Wait, how how did they not? How did none of the marines shoot that? Are they all on like follow on a tank or something? But even then, they weren't moving, right? I didn't I didn't actually see what just happened there. All right, so we got lurkers out. In any case, Chon Man. This is actually really weird. Chon Man has been able to do like no pressure, even though the Mutas came in once, got shredded, and then just left. And then and then Chon Man didn't actually leave his base, or SPX, I guess. Uh, just was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna sit here. Just being a little bit cautious. I mean, okay, his first vessel is out now, so that's the timing to go. 
normally the Terran, especially with plus one five racks, would be a little bit more aggressive before this, but maybe he's just scared of getting stopped lurker or something. But this this has given Bakryu enough time to have his defile amount get very close to finished. He can build an, he's building a Nidus Canal, right? Yeah, I, I clicked that already. I just didn't register in my brain. So the Nidus Canal is going to finish. He's going to place the exit here. And even though the tanks are pushing the lurkers back, oh man, actually doing a lot of damage. Oh, whoa! All right, well, it's like, uh, uh oh, wait, where's the exit? Oh no, Bakri, where's the exit? Oh no, the Ninus Canal actually does not finish in time. What? Well, that is extremely bad for Bakryu. I thought I thought everything was fine, but Bakryu coming in with the army though. If oh, he's going to grab all the siege tanks for free, and if he can kill this entire Terran army, this could still be okay for him, because that is a huge Terran army. If he can pick them all off, looks like one of the lurkers gets irradiated. I'm surprised he didn't irradiate the Muta block. And here we go, lurker coming. He's targeting down the lurkers. Though Bakryu could be in trouble. Bakryu, is he going to be able to clean up this force? If he doesn't, then that would be a huge loss. There's links on the side that aren't coming in. It's so close, but it looks like the Terran is going to hold on. And... <laughs> Where the heck did this guy come from? Alright, emergency dropship coming in. Uh, and then deciding, wait a minute, we can actually just kill this. And just putting everybody back down. It's like, alright, get back in the fight, guys. You know, all medics are just going to... Gonna awkwardly go home. Nice macro though. Look, look at this macro from SPX. While that was going on, the macro in like a boss has a billion more marines coming out. Is that a second star point? That is a second star point. I don't know what this guy's gonna build though. This Nidus Canal did not do its job. Oh! Oh, got him. G -g 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 got him. Uh, and now. SPX is rolling up into the natural. Uh, yeah, get that overlord. Show him who's boss. Where, where's the defiler with swarm though? Bakri's had his defiler mount done for ages, right? The consumer's finished. We need defilers. There's one coming out now. Come on, defiler, we need you. We need you, buddy. Defiler, please. See you play. Eat something. He's really hungry. He just woke up. He's eating scourge. And there's a dark swarm. Oh no! Oh wait, no. That 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 night is actually doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> that all right. That that was a good idea from SPX, but but that night is actually didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not even sure where he thought that night is would go, considering he killed the third base already. So that's kind of interesting, but I mean, fair enough. You know, Ninus is our, uh, they're, they're pretty high priority targets. So I hear scans going down. So you can see he scanned the top right, scans at three o'clock. Did he, I don't think he scanned the six o'clock though, which is where Bakuryu's actually remade his third. Uh, in the meantime, got the good old SK Terran style going on. Looks like gonna clear out the sling of the 12 o'clock to take his third base. But you can support Medic Marine for quite a while on two base. So he's not in any great hurry to take that. Bakri on the other hand really wants his third gas. Excuse me. I don't know what the heck happened to that tank. Got a little bit too excited there. Oh! Marine's coming in once again targeting the Lurkers. The back Lurkers actually not under the Swarm. But one Lurker under Swarm is enough to fend off the Terran attack. The good old OP Swarm Lurker against Terran. Just gonna have to wait it out. Wait out the Swarm, get an Irradiate or something like that. Looks like more Marines heading down to the left side. What, what's going on over here? Look, guys, look at, look at the minimap. This is kind of crazy Overlord uh, sight line going on <laughs> in, the, uh, in the bottom left. I'm not actually, I guess it's pretty nice because it gives Bakuyu really advanced warning. Any, oh, actually, look at, look, at, look at this Overlord positioning. Look, Overlord here, here, here. I like this. It's like uh, the, uh, the Dropship Defense System. By Bakri, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice overload coverage. It's just unfortunate that he lost his third base, so he's pretty far behind still. Man, look at this. He's at 55 supply, just barely holding on against 122 supply for SPX. I guess, I guess the one decent thing. Wait, did he just shoot his own? Do you guys see that? He, he shot his own science vessel with the Marines. I'm like 90% sure he shot his science vessel with the Marines. <laughs> Good old, good old misclick in action. 
Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I guess I guess the one thing Baku can at least be thankful for is there's no mech switch yet. Uh, SPX is staying on Medic Marine and now getting a third command center. But I mean, Medic Marine's pretty pretty OP. Oh man, these, these science vessels. Baku needs to make some scourge, man. SPX has been really bold with these science vessels. Oh no! Oh, one HP siege tank! He didn't finish it off. He could have just right clicked it one more time. Oh man, did not finish that off. And SPX is just being relentless here. But look at the minimap though. He does have groups of Marines at the 12 and the 9 to uh, secure those uh, expansions, and even at the top right as well. He's not really checking the bottom left as much, but I think he checked there already uh, and realized there wasn't anything there. Man, but see, see what I'm talking about? Baku really needs some Scourge for this. Look at look at how these science vessels are going, man. Look, look, no no protection. You gotta punish this. Oh man. And the D Matrix Marine is standing in the back, which is uh which is not exactly what he needs to do, but I think Baku is gonna be dead regardless here. No more uh defi No, there's one more defiler in the back, but there's no lurkers under here. The lurker is still morphing. There's a fire bat, but only one. Okay, second fire bat in the back, and Bakri looks like, oh man, missing the plague! Oh no, he only got like three units with that plague as well. Four units with the plague. Wow, was that was that like a deliberate dodge by SP? That might have actually been a deliberate dodge. Did you see that? The, the army was moving back, and then the units that were here kind of went forward when the plague was coming in. That was actually really sick. I'm gonna give that, give credit to SPX for, uh, for a sick plague dodge right there. In the meantime, basically a double expand coming out for SPX, 12 o'clock and top right, and Bakri is in no position to counterattack. However, he has somehow snuck a drone out to the bottom left here. There are like some random units. I think there's four random marines running down just to check uh, at the bottom left. And this constant pressure has really taken its toll here on Bakri. Look at this, just the never-ending irradiates. Oh man, I, I, I can just feel all the Zerg players watching this and getting frustrated. All right, here we go. There's some plagues on the vessels. There's a couple of vessels going down. Baku finally taking advantage of SPX being a little bit too uh, brazen with those with those uh, science vessels. I'm going to say a couple of lurkers to help keep this base alive. Unless uh, Dropship comes in. A lot of fire bats actually out for Chan Man. I always find it hard to see fire bats when they're when the Terran is red. It's just like a red blob. Oh, not like that. Do we have any other tech or anything going on? It's like, uh, is that level 2 carapace? About to finish? I think that is. What about Terran base? Nope, still on the Medic Marine. Why is he just sent all of his Marines, or SCBs away? It's like 2-2 two, two against 2-1 two, for the upgrades. Bakryu though. I mean, Bakryu 6 o'clock has been, you know, completely unharmed, which is interesting. I mean, think, look at how much pressure has been going on, like, the past few minutes on this, uh, on this natural. I mean, what, what if he just went up here to the 6 o'clock? There's only one lurker here, right? But there are more Marines. Moving out now for for SPX, they're just walking all over the place here. It's really hard to control this many Medic Marines. I mean, he's got as many Marines as, or he's got more Marines than there are Zerglings, right? I mean, this is an insane army to control, but he's just walking them in to the bottom left. Oh my god, Marines, please. <laughs> Into the Valley of Death. Unfortunate. It's, it's funny, too, because the Marines take three shots to kill as well, so those two Lurkers don't even one-shot the line. If they actually stimmed and ran through, I think they might have even made it. Oh man, SPX should probably think about doing the mech switch now, right? He's got so much money in the bank, he can throw down like seven factories. But no, he's gonna stick with the Medic Marine. I mean, I guess that's what he's comfortable with. Doing the good old Hwasin, you know? No mech switch. Oh no, he's doing it at the top right. Okay, there we go. So he's not he's not gonna lift all his barracks. He's gonna keep pumping, but he's gonna make uh, he's gonna make the additional factories at the top right with uh, the good old SDB party down in the corner. It's pretty good. Holy vessels. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, that's what Baku needed. That's that's what he needed. All right, he just needs like a couple more of those and he'll be good to go. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fail Scourge, all right. He could have killed, killed one more there, but that, that was pretty good. He killed like six vessels there. That's really good. And now there's four Lurkers and the Ninus Canal is finished. Is this connected? I mean, presumably that's connected to here, right? And the 6 o'clock is also holding 93 supply to 157. Bakryu is narrowing the gap, I guess. I mean, it's still a really, really dire situation, but he is holding on. 
I feel like uh, SPX could probably afford to just uh, even take another expansion. You know, why not? Just just build the command center here at the natural. Um, I mean, he's, he's got plenty of supplies, getting his factories. Maybe transfer some of these dudes away as well. Any additional uh, fancy shenanigans going on? Doesn't seem like it. I guess that's uh, Defiler Energy. That's interesting. So, um, Defiler Energy is an interesting upgrade because since since Zerg has consume, right? Since Defilers have consume, you can always max out on your energy. So normally, a Defiler with 200 energy can either do one plague or two swarms because a plague costs 150, right? Um, whereas I guess if you get the the energy upgrade that allows you to do a swarm and a plague with one defiler without having to reconsume in between. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Oh man, he played this. But he could. Oh, he could have played this. Plague it. I want to scream plague you at the top of my lungs. Oh man. Part of the part of the turtle says Baku, you get stronger as the game gets later, right? <laughs> oh man, that'd be crazy. Could you imagine? This whole time, Bakri is just slowly increasing in power level. Bakri is like a late game champion. And SPX, he's like trying to kill him, but he just can't. And eventually, Bakri is just gonna, gonna go full full Super Saiyan mode. Just kill everything. I like it. It's exciting. Like Taguro? Yeah! Just like Taguro. Wait, no, but Taguro, Taguro could go his full power level whenever he wanted. He just, uh,. He just didn't because, you know, that makes the plot more exciting if he only uses 30% of his power, right? Like, Taguro wasn't actually limited, was he? I don't know. Weeb Nation, boys. Weeb Nation. There's the barracks lift. You know, to be honest... Oh, hello. Um, I, I feel like the, the, the kind of the late factory switch that SPX is doing right now what is uh, is is kind of how the the mech switch started, right? Because nowadays you see Terran players switching to mech. Oh, hold on, got an attack coming in here. There's not that many units left, but yeah, nowadays we see Terrans switching mech earlier and earlier. Like some some Terrans even start getting the vultures of mines uh, without even taking their third base. But I think when this style originally started to be developed. Uh, the, you know, the, the Terran didn't actually do the mech switch basically like this until they got their fourth base and another main, and then he started slowly adding factories. Whereas nowadays it seems to be that you can do it much, much faster. Uh, and that's that's what people are doing. But look at this, Bakri is up, up to almost 100 supplies, getting a fifth base here. I mean, this this pressure on the front is really... It's not doing enough for SPX. I mean, I guess it's given him map control and allowed him to take his own expansions and do the, do the mech switch. But I wonder if, you know, more drops, let's say at the bottom left or at the 6 o'clock would have been the answer here. I don't really know. Man, I... Oh, hold on. I, I It really bugs me. Or not bugs me, but it's it makes things really difficult for me when there's all these floating buildings on the map. Like when the Terran floats all their barracks. Because uh, I, I always feel like I'm missing drops, you know? I'm like, oh my god, what is this? You know, the classic uh, Sonic style. Ah, Drashi! And then it's, uh, then it's uh, actually an engineering bay. So, <laughs> I don't know what's with these whiffed plagues, though. That one wasn't even close. Uh, okay, uh, to be fair, he was irradiated, so, yeah, he did the best he could. Oh, is that, is that like, a little bone? Oh my god, look at that! They actually, like, have a little skeleton pop out when they explode. Oh man, that's horrible, it's gruesome. Jeez. Man, I hope StarCraft is rated R. Cause that's some, that's some gruesome stuff right there, man. I wonder what StarCraft is rated, actually. Anyway. Oh. Looks like... Oh! Ultra Link coming out. Gonna catch the Medic Marine. They don't have their carapace boost just yet, but the base upgrades for Baku are already pretty good. 3-2, although the Marines are at 3-3. There's an Irradiate, but remember the Irradiate will kill the Marines as well. Friendly Fire is turned on in this game. And unfortunately not gonna be able to break through into the... Siege tanks. Meanwhile, the mech army is actually now pressuring the bottom left base, but Bakuryu does have the Nidus connection, sending out his Ultra Ling. And Bakuryu is stabilizing. The, the Terran is no longer at his front. Terran is now pressuring the bottom left, but Bakuryu looks like he's going to try and do some suicidal mind bombs. Oh, he's going to do the mind drag. Go! Oh Got him. And I cannot believe this game is actually going this long. Like, SPX was in an insanely 
powerful position after killing Bakuyu's third. But right now, Bakuyu is slowly, slowly pulling his way back. Although I say that, uh, and Bakuyu is still a hundred supply behind. But but SPX's mind out is main and his natural. Uh, and his 12 o'clock is not very well saturated. Like, he doesn't actually have a very good SCB count, if you can see. But what that does mean, though, I think, is that his army is insanely strong right now. Look at this. And, you know what? I actually like this kind of combined arms force. That's a lot of medics. I, I like the combined arms, medic, marine, and siege tank. Because I think it makes just, you know, the engagements a lot more interesting. Because you have the, the very highly mobile kind of uh, skirmishing... Uh, medic marines backed up by the siege tanks like this feels like a lot more kind of like modern warfare you know you, you need your infantry you got your armor division you know they're all kind of working in harmony i like it it's pretty cool it's definitely cool it's like every unit in the terran arsenal being brought to bear to smash down the foul zerg race and looks like uh that's a lot of science vessels as well Bakryu, can he hold on? He's been holding on for a very long time, but he's still down a hundred supply, even with the magic of Defilers. I don't know what he can do here. D-Matrix on the lead tank, and here we go. There's the stim in. This could be bad. At least Bakryu, I think, is going to lose his base. Dark Swarm, unfortunately, does not protect Hazard. He looks like SPX is, uh, is, well, he's trying to do something here. <laughs> Alright, he's going to focus down the Hatchery. There we go. Hatchery taken down. I wonder if SPX... I don't, I don't know what happened to all those fire bats, but I think a couple of fire bats here would actually be really, really nice. Ooh, looks like uh, Baku is able to get a couple of these vessels, but SPX doing a pretty good job, though, of just keeping his dudes together. Baku trying to sneak the 3 o'clock base. SPX, may want look at this. SPX actually is slightly wary of a big counter -tap. That's actually That's actually really, really smart uh, preparation there, because he knows, I mean, his, his main army is at the bottom left, and since he's doing the mech switch, his army is, is not going to be able to be to respond quite as quickly anymore, even though he does still have Medic Marine. And even then, you know, I mean, his army is across the map from the top right. So he doesn't want Baku to do some kind of crazy muta or drop at the top right and just kill his uh, his shiny new factories. Oh, that is painful. So building the good old Great Wall of Turrets here, which is both good and great. That's how, that's how awesome it is. And I think Bakri is going to have to type out here, which is uh, going to be bad news for LRM. Because that's going to mean IFU will go up 2-0. If he takes this win, and it's looking very much like he is, SPX, Chon Man, the man himself, the Chon, the legendary Chon, is going to take down the 6 o'clock base. And it is just a matter of time now before Bakri cannot hold on any longer. He's desperately trying. He's retaking the bottom left. Interestingly, he is banking. 1200 minerals but look at the tanks rolling out still only one one upgrades i guess but terran mech is pretty strong i'm surprised he didn't add more uh, factories at the top right actually i mean he's got a few here but i think he could afford a few more i guess actually he didn't have the greatest sev saturation as i as i noted earlier so perhaps not oh well that could have been a big mind, big mind drag Man, how much Man, i'm actually I'm actually really impressed that SPX is able to control late game Medic Marine plus the Mech Army with only like, you know, 220 APM. I think it was slightly higher before. He's probably kind of uh, relaxing a bit now because he's got a pretty solid lead. But yeah, this is actually, you know, just controlling Medic Marine with vessels is pretty hard already. And he's got all the different mech units too. That's actually pretty cool. It's pretty good. Good stuff. And the new hatchery falls. The lone ultralisk is irradiated. Bakri just kind of throwing everything willy-nilly down the ramp. But the tanks are just A-moving in. 187 supply to 58. The eraser as well. Oh, no. Oh, man. No mercy from Chon Man. Taking down all the drones and the Nidus Canal. Bakri looks like was considering a counterattack with just a handful of links, but obviously that's not really going to do anything. I guess he can send some dudes up from the 3 o'clock base, but left side is all gone. The 3 o'clock is all Bakryu has, and GG from Bakryu fighting to the end as Bakryu does, but unable to claw his way back, unable to fully Super Saiyan it up. And that means that... LRM is now down 0-2 against IFU. This is a best of five uh, clan war, which means 
IFU just need to win one more game to take down the series.